Hello everyone. We're doing today the longest common prefix problem. This is number 14 from top 100. And this problem was given at Google and Microsoft for the title Software Engineer in Coding Interview. So let's read the problem. Write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. And here we have, as an example, flower, flow, and flight. And here you can see that flower has this flow, flow has flow, but flight doesn't have that. And the only common prefix here is FL. So that's going to be FL. Doc, race car, and car have nothing in common, so we don't return anything. Oh, yeah. So related topics, string. I'm going to try to do it with a divide and conquer algorithm. I'm going to show you how. So the first thing that I want to take into consideration is that strings length might be from 1 to 200. So this check is totally unnecessary, but I'm going to check if strs is equal no, or if strs.length is equal to 0. I'm just going to return an empty string because I know in this case that I'm not going to have anything. Now I'm going to write return empty string here because I want to see what is going to happen if I have just flower. Do I return flower or do I return yeah expected flower. Alright so what you can do here is you can say if strs length is equal to 1 I am just going to return strs 0 oops and this should be and this should be good to go all right the weather outside is horrible so i hope you don't hear it through the mic and this should be done okay good so now we can actually leave it like this but since i'm going to do the divide and conquer algorithm i'm going to take the left and right side so i think that this is not going to be a necess necessary part so i'm just going to no i'm not going to comment i'm just going to delete it all right so now when we know that we have something in string, I'm just going to say return common prefix and I'm going to place strings. Then I'm going to take the left and the right part. So zero and I'm going to have strs.length minus one. All right, let's write the function. So I'm going to go private. Uh, I'm not going to say void. I'm going to say string common prefix. And this one is going to accept a string array called strs, int left and int right. Okay, so whenever we do divide and conquer strategy, I do use recursion, meaning that I do want to have a breaking point, right? I want to have an exit point, and this exit point is going to be if left is equal to right. I'm just going to return what I have into the left part. Or into the right part, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to return the string that I have at the current index. Okay, so now I'm going to create int middle part. This is going to be equal to left plus right. I'm going to divide this by two. And if I take flower, uh, what was it? Up flow. And then I'm going to have flight. And let's say I have also flying like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle, which is going to be flow, this index, so 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to take 1. And now I want to see what is the, let me just write it here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to write it there. So now I'm going to take this part, this is the idea, and I want to see what is the common prefix between these two uh, strings flower and flow obviously it's flow but we need to find a way to do that so I'm gonna say left side this is gonna be equal to common prefix of since we are going to the left side now I do want to decrement the right pointer so I'm gonna pass strings I'm gonna say left and I'm gonna say middle part for the right pointer here so now I have flower and flow, flower and flow, K, 
currently I am going to take left again from this and I'm going to return flower. So this one is going to have left side is going to have flower. Flower. And now the right side is going to have common prefix of strings middle part because we're decrementing the left pointer now middle part plus one actually and here i'm going to say right i'm also continuing to press enter okay so currently if i break this down to two and i break it down to two again left is going to have flower and right is going to have flow so i'm going to have flow now what i want right so what i want is for the left side to have the common prefix of these things so flower and flow and I want to return something here so I'm gonna return something and this something is going to be common prefix between left and right so what I want is to have the left side is going to have flow and flower but the common prefix is gonna be flow so I'm gonna have flow here eventually and the right is going to have FL. And now what I want to do is to compare the left has flow, the right has FL. The common prefix between these two is going to be FL. So I'm just going to have FL as a returning statement here. Okay. Now in order for me to achieve this prefix between the right, I need to return a function that is going to take left and right left and right and probably strings All right let me just write private it, it needs to be string it's going to return that and i'm going to say conquer prefix and i'm going to go and left and right and left and right and of course the strings so i'm going to say strs here oops do we need the array do I need the array? Yes, I do. So I'm going to say string array strs, something like this. Or should I, instead of going to the array, what I can do is I can say string left side and string right side. Since we're going to use left and right side and common prefix returns a string, obviously I need to have strings over here. Now, in order for me to achieve the common prefix between flow and flower, what I need to take is to take the smaller character, the smaller string. Because obviously, E, R are not going to be found here, and they're not prefix, I need to take the smallest. So, in order for me to do that, I'm going to say current smallest is going to be equal to mat.min of left side.length and right side on length okay good oops so now i'm gonna have the current smallest which is going to be four between flow and flower for example what i want to iterate and now i want to check which one of these are we going to return so i'm going to say four and current index equals zero current index is less than current smallest and current index plus plus okay good so what i need to check i'm checking two strings and i want to see if the left side of current index is not equal to the right side of current index not equal for right side current index index i'm just going to return left side dot substring current actually zero and current index right otherwise if i don't need these otherwise what i'm going to do is i'm just going to return left side dot substring zero to current smallest we're doing current smallest here because keep in mind again as i said flow is not going to have flow e as a common prefix to flower because it doesn't have the e so you just need to check between the smallest one. Okay, so now we actually have the conquer prefix. This is going to return the string. So between flower and flow, this is going to return flow. And between flight and flying, this is going to return FL. 
and between flow and FL, this is going to return FL. So here, what's left for me to do is to say that I'm going to return common prefix with left side and with right side. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. And now the question actually is, what am I going to do with the string length of 1 here? If I have 1, I'm just going to return left. Yeah, okay. Let's run the code and see if this is going to pass. Only assignment, co increment, decrement, await, and new object expression can be used as a statement. What do you mean? What do you mean, though? Common prefix of STRs, 0, and the longest. If left is equal to right, I'm just going to return. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to return. Okay. <laughs> that was awkward. Sorry that you had to watch this. Probably it was bothering. All right. It works with this. Let's use example test cases and see if it's going to work with dog, race car, and car. And if it does, I'm just going to pass it to the server. Good. Let's submit. And hopefully it works. Okay, good. There it is. So one thing that we need to take into consideration, as I usually go per video, this has a time complexity of n log n. Uh, actually, this is going to be big O of. And log n is this here because we have command, command, not command. Mm, we have the what was it? Divide and conquer, right? And when we're dividing and conquer, we're just doing this middle part and we're decreasing by two every single time. So this is going to be log n. This is going to be log n. And so we're just going to have two times log n, which is going to be log n since we don't have the constant. And here it's going to be n, right? Oops, n. Because we don't know what's the math min. We can have thousand elements here. We can have hundreds, it doesn't matter we are iterating through the mo. At the worst case, we need to iterate them through the mo. Through a mo. So this is standing here in the recursion. So the time complexity is going to be big O of n multiplied by log n. And the space complexity is going to be big O of n. Big O of n because I'm not iterating uh, between any lists that I have created. I haven't created them. But keep in mind that we're doing a recursion which fills the stack. So in reality, we still have the space complexity being linear. This is going to increase linearly. Okay, well, that was it. I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for the next one. Comment if you have any questions. I will answer them all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.